hello ladies and gentlemen I'm coming here today to do a quick video on my tips for individual lashes um I like individuals more than strips because I feel like strips there's not really a natural looking strip I feel like with individual you can build up the look that you want so I prefer those so I'm gonna give you about 11 tips that I think will help you with applying individuals for the first time or even if you're like a guru at it I don't, even if you're a guru even if you're an expert at doing it maybe these tips might help you tip one use black glue instead of clear um right now i'm using the ardell and right now it's in clear and honestly i don't prefer clear because i feel if you make even the slightest mistake it's going to dry and you're going to see the glue like it, it doesn't dry clear clear like you're gonna see it so I feel with black if you mess up a little bit more you can fake it as if it was okay, mascara. Tip two. It kind of goes along with tip one but not really. Um, do not keep trying to apply a lash that doesn't seem to stick on. Meaning if you dip your lash in your glue and you go to put it on and it doesn't want to stay try it one more time and if you try it again and you're still having the same issue throw that lash away and move on to the next one. Because when you keep piling glue on glue on glue, all it does is build glue up and when it dries, you'll see all of that icky, nasty looking glue. Whether it's clear or black, you don't want it to look like piles and piles of glue or one eyelash, it won't look good. Tip number three, never ever rip off your eyelashes no matter how sick of them you are or no matter how many of them are falling off and one is just staying there do not rip your individuals off because they will rip your natural eyelashes out i mean if you're using a good adhesive that's supposed to last you like three weeks i think tops you don't want to do that because you will rip out your own eyelashes and make sure you don't use that. a specific eyelash adhesive remover and do not pull them or gank them or any of those crazy things. Okay. Tip number four, use a sharp tweezer to apply your lashes. Mine isn't the sharpest of the sharp, but it's pretty sharp so it gets the job done. Um, a dull, rounded tweezer won't do you as well as something that's and sharp. Make sure when thin. you're going to set your eyelash that you don't have glue on the outside of the tweezer or in the inside of the tweezer because when you go to lay your eyelash on and you think it's oh, okay I'm done let me let go your eyelash will go with it too because it's been on the tweezer longer so it'll stick to that glue. Tip five okay. use a really good hard spindle brush that's what I call it I'm not really sure what the name is but I call it a spindle brush try to brush your natural lashes as neat and straight as possible. I'll show you right about now how crazy my natural eyelashes are. So make sure you brush them, brush them, brush them, brush them. Do not stop brushing them until they're as straight as possible and they're not going anywhere because it will help blend in your falsies. If your eyelashes are all over the place like my natural ones are, it won't look good. <laughs> you don't want and that. if your lashes come straight out, make sure you use a eyelash curler to curl them first before applying Tip any six. false lashes. For a more natural looking individual lash, falsy, whatever you want to call it, extensions, apply the lashes not on the top of your lash line but at the bottom but make sure that you don't go cl too close to your upper water line it just appears more natural and if you're like me and don't tend to wear eyeliner on your top eyelid or um a lot of eyeshadow or anything like that then it makes it look more natural because when you look down you don't see the little um 
where it's connected to your skin. Um, only way someone can see it is if you're like this, oh my God, something like that, but when are you really doing that? But I guess you're not really walking around like this either, but I'm just saying you can't see the seam where your eyelashes are. That only works for individual. I don't know about strips, so don't use that for strips. Tip seven. Um, this might not apply to all people, but I find, well, I found when I started doing individuals that the glue on the lid thing doesn't work. Like, you're gonna get about two eyelashes done with putting a glob of glue on here. So all you're doing is wasting I find that the easiest way is to, to take the eyelash and dip it in the glue until you see the ball of the eyelash covered in glue. It'll look like a, a bigger circle at the end and that's about it you save product that way and you just get the amount that you need and that's it and it's not it's easier to control how much glue you're putting on as if sometimes when you do the glob it'll get on the underside of the eyelash and you won't notice until you put it on and it dries and then you can see the extra glue residue. and make it sure nasty. after you dip your eyelash in the glue that you close the lid because you don't want the top surface of the glue or anything to to get dry or anything like that. So just in case, just and close tip it number try. eight, for the most natural looking eyelashes, in my opinion, I only use one row per eye. I do not use this whole packet. Um, I know of some people who actually use two rows per eye, but I think that's for more of a dramatic look or unless you just like boom eyelashes in your face. But if you want something that looks like it's your own and you don't feel like putting on mascara or anything like that, one row per eye works perfect. Oh, and um, if you don't know, I use the Ardell individual lashes as well. Tip number nine um, is kind of a repeat of some of the things combined. You don't want to use an excessive amount of glue because it doesn't look nice and it won't keep your eyelashes on any longer. It actually makes them look also, worse. Also, if you put excessive amounts of glue and you go to apply it under your lash line, it actually can irritate your eye. That did happen to me one time, I'm not gonna lie. I kept trying to apply the same lash over and over again and it wouldn't stay. So by the time I finally got it on and it dried, it left in a, like a lot of extra glue that shouldn't have been there and every time I close my eyes I can feel it and it actually really irritated my eyes and I contemplated just taking them all off at that moment because that's how bad it irritated my eyes. So you don't want to do that because eh, you need to close your eyes for many things and sleep is one of them and that was the most uncomfortable experience ever. So. Don't go crazy with the glue, like tip for number real. 10. If you go to apply a lash and it seems like it's hanging a little low or it's to the side, use your finger gently to push it in place. Don't use a tweezer because the tweezer is strong enough to pull, to pull it back off. But with your finger, you can apply as much pressure as you need and you can control the pressure that you use. So just use your, your, your finger and move it to tip where it number to 11. Place the lashes in between your natural lashes. Um, this is not the $200 thing that people go to get done for eyelashes that last for a month or however long they last. You're not applying these lashes to your natural lashes. You're filling in the gaps between your natural lashes. So don't try and put individuals on your natural lashes because you risk the possibility of losing your natural lashes and it might not look right. So in between also, the lashes, this isn't really a tip, but I find that if you're going for a more natural look also, to stick with the short, I get the short black. Um, it also comes in medium and I believe the last one is called long. Um, those are cool if you're, if you already have naturally long lashes that are that length, yeah, maybe, but I think long is, for a more dramatic look like prom or something like that, like you wanna make a statement with your eyes. So I tend to stick with short because I just stick with the natural lashes even when I'm going out. I don't really go for the va voom type lashes. I just go for like the natural look. So it's up to you, it's your preference. I guess this is tip 12 or it's not really a tip, but I just wanna tell you guys when you do individual lashes, please take your time there's no rush do not rush this if you don't have time to dedicate to this don't rush it especially if it's your first couple of times um glue in your eye is not fun it feels like 
wet but dry but stings is no fun so <laughs> don't rush this process take your time especially if you're first time just take your time and they will come out beautiful so those are my 11 or 12 tips for you guys I think I lost count I don't I don't know how many I gave you but I hope they help people who are just starting or just getting interested in individual lashes and even for some people who do do individuals a lot maybe I help with you somewhat so I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back